Caffeinate. What up, YouTube? Awesome. It's Rob Empty Monty here. Sound stage. Bring you guys our newest episode of Chrono Trigger Let's gimmick, Play. Screeching right. and yelling and acting oh, like nobody yeah, really like would. There we go. Ever. Ah. In, 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 in maybe on some of fucking on the, on the, side, the bad so. Owsley acid, <laughs> but only that. All right. So, so now we've gone from you guys know, last moment time of left real off with Desert Storm. Say, to, oh now my gosh, it's all go on to find out some other on? stuff to grind, get ready to go against Lamo soon. Becky has mm. to go back into her being real. I feel like we should go to 23. And that makes it as you be the champion, so I'm going to go off and be a mother. Um, and then, so first and foremost, also, everybody, who all uh, is the It's almost like this is the first time she was hearing it because she didn't know whether to, to drop the gimmick uh, for or one, not. I did in the process, she didn't, uh, but she kind of did. She, she toned the gimmick down. But she was downloading still, um, Citra because I want to start doing. And we go back to Gaga, um, and then, well. then, but then she um, also. But, but no, first she she I've got the busy belt first, and then she did the whole yard work We're going around home. like a raving lunatic. Um, and and so Becky yeah, gives her the belt in the case. See where that takes us. And that's supposed to be a real moment, and then she oh, goes crazy yeah. right. and comes back so in, and then she says she's going to be a mother, and then home, she don't know what to do. I had to chop down this palm tree. One person was acting in a ludicrous, over the top, worky manner that nobody would hours. ever act like, and the other one, on of that, instead of, of keeping up her stuff. personality, which has caused her to be um, the biggest female box office attraction in wrestling, was completely doing the antithesis of it and trying to be serious. Man, I was so And both of them were in the Place the same time. A lot That's why I fucking hated before. it. What did you think? Um, so I did get a kick out of the one. Asuka, after Becky, before she reveals she's pregnant, but she hands her the now. belt and says Next. that when you won Money in the Bank, and you I actually won this. This was in the suitcase. Here, so I'm gonna go and she acts a little foolish. She starts dancing around like there's an audience you know there. What? But she runs over to the announce table anymore. and she starts we'll yelling at the announcers, including some. I look at it as if we're doing it this way. Get out of here! <laughs> We're gonna get some grinding yeah, time. Right? Me up, but I mean, I thought I, I think I just walked into a really fucking disaster. But good. okay, I watched it. Uh, I watched actually what Suzanne and the kids <laughs> we see. Got this, see we got this, guys. We got this. And they had a real positive oh, reaction. They couldn't understand also, why Oscar um, was being hated. Also, for all of you guys who also did, that's what I'm um, saying. If, if, you, if you're gonna be I've real and hurt a film, Mortal Kombat stream. And then, um, I mean, fucking hell, what would have happened if right in the middle? Of Tarzan trying to um, revive Jane honestly, from the fucking poison dart that the pixies threw in her. Cheetah jumped in the scene and well. started doing a fucking cartwheel. Uh, I've already got a new episode. It didn't fit. In the can it was so, and especially week. with no people there. Yeah, you see, this is and, why and, and that was awesome. Fans or anybody making any background noise whatsoever. But anyway, yeah, it was so just there's so gonna be a new odd. episode debut so that, this yeah, week. It, if that's um, what you want, um, obviously Becky Lynch is not going to be wrestling for a while. But so I will be debuting. For the future, um, if she ever wants to come back to the wrestling business. As of right now, though, I want to get just, this why is it a standard quite honestly, we're almost line there, we're now almost that everybody, no matter how guys. big a star they they get to be, or no if matter how me, they're presented, told me, like, when somewhere they, they um, have to be my video, broadcast saying, oh, this has always been like, my dream, and I'm just so lucky, and I was so insecure. Uh, and I'm like, really? If I'm looking yeah. at a star, Take a look. I, I, and I realized, guys, I'm I was actually lucky to get in the wrestling the business, story, and, and I was actually looking back on a lot of things almost ridiculously it, lucky that I was on top quests. everywhere almost every time I did and anything. When you look back on, on it, it's fucking freaky, but I was not going to break down into tears. Focus on Ed and bring yes. sad managing the Midnight Express at fucking uh, Starcade. As far as I'm concerned, I was too busy worrying about whether I was going to break my leg, but that's a different story. But trying, the point is, it just it makes them all so. A and lot of times, a star kinda, just needs to be an asshole or at least convinced of themselves. Oh, fucking. You know, it, 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 oh, it, I, you nice. never saw Sylvester Stallone when he was fucking Rocky coming, oh, you know, uh, I did it. Anyway, that's just. Do you think uh, this is another example of Seth Rollins fucking someone out of the title? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, well, here, I'm, this this is not going to be a popular opinion because everybody's always wonderful, but... and, oh, nice. it's wonderful and oh, it's you know, wonderful and oh, it's so wonderful. I'm not fucking around when I'm going into I, this if I was, part of the game, you know? Well, I don't know if anything affects Vince or how it affects let's, Vince or whatever you know, the fuck anymore, but let's say difference. it's my territory and um, I'm paying a different way of Becky Lynch seven figures a year 
because she's drawing me, obviously, at least seven figures a year. Vince doesn't pay anybody more than they fucking they're worth in some respect or another. Ticket sales, merchandise, general overall ambiance. This is a million dollar, multi million dollar talent. And she tells me she's pregnant? I made it clear that I want to be strong enough to defeat Lobos and those golems. Maybe there's extenuating circumstances. Maybe she has an injury where she could have to quit at any minute. In that case, I had a lot of weeds in the backyard. Or maybe, and I don't think this to be the case. I don't think was she just pissed off at the company or the business in general and just says, fuck it. I'll fucking just quit. Um, Man, I took out my anger this is movies. like one of the boys breaking his PCS, leg on purpose well, while he's on top. You can control PCS, this. is not going. like wow, a fucking injury. A this could have been controlled. Those are living creatures, you know? <laughs> I'm like, they might be living creatures, but they are an, a nuisance. All right. Go back to the sewer access. I'm, you know, and I'm. It, it's not like I don't. I yes, don't no, never so want them to have children. To but do you fucking when both of you have top spots where you could make seven fucking figures a year oh, and blah blah blah. Look, look at that guy. He's like, Wait three years, have a fucking baby God in the water. You what got the fuck, what happened to, if, if, if she does come back and even gets to this level of success again and gets this level of spot again? <laughs> as Take soon my bullet. She gets hurt. Then she can't do it at all. Well, she could have the baby after she eventually got hurt because everybody Ooh. gets hurt. There would have been a good way to fucking rehab a guy. Wait, I'm going to the baby. I don't fucking know. But I find what is it this? insane. Where's all my fish? That young. Who has had that level of success ah, for that short a period of time? What's sucks. it been? Six, seven years? That's nothing. Well, not this. <laughs> this level of success is, you know, maybe three years. Well, but I mean, the whole run in the company, and oh, and just man, she I'm just gets there. Right it's it's like when Brock quit when he was making uh, more than a million dollars a year. I don't want to end up like those guys all broke down and you know drinking. Well, good. Wait a oh, fucking year and a half or two, like you idiot. Yeah. She ain't there yet. Oh, whatever the, the point is. If I was Vince, I'd be hot, because I'd sure be hot if it was my millions of dollars. This is not like an injury yeah, that can't be prevented. Yeah, this could have been controlled ass. and or timed. Except they obviously didn't control it or time it. But somebody that young, that age, that's achieved that level of success, and then you have a baby? The fuck? Jesus Christ. I'm just, I'm gobsmacked. I am gobsmacked. It was like, oh, but it'll be so wonderful. Well, it'd also be just as wonderful in three or four years when you've made millions more dollars and you're not in the middle of a fucking great run like that. I like it. It's like some one of the boys breaking their leg on purpose. Who do you think will be next? I know from Suzanne and her friends, usually when one gets pregnant, next thing you know, a few others are pregnant at around the same time. You think Charlotte will be next? Is she pregnant? I don't know. If, if I was Vince, I would start writing pregnancy clauses into every woman's contract. Because that's just fucking ludicrous. You come, and that was the same thing. Awesome Kong should have been a huge star. When she went to the WWF, that was right. She was still, I know she's had back problems and had wrestled a lot. And that was, what, seven, eight years ago, whatever the fuck. When she went up there, she was still coming off that TNA run. Trains, and she was fantastic and it has to come out and work. announce she's pregnant this monster this beast they've built and it just exposed her and exposed everything and, and then is. obviously that was that he she should have been a huge fucking deal up there and uh, you know it, 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 in the old days well first of all this wouldn't happen in the old days I'll tell you why so, in a second um, but what am I going to do when you I could do have done an injury thing for this um, video guys. and it li you you wouldn't um, have to have, have that make that video. fucking sappy Simple. fucking snot inducing um, red eye fucking statement and but ruin the gimmick and the character editing, of your no. your uh, fucking biggest female so star she could, could have been right. injured and You're put out of wrestling and in a year and a half she could come back and my god she'd be even bigger yeah. But, of course, you couldn't keep that a secret for a year and a half because I'm sure they'll fucking post pictures everywhere in public on the Internet. But if they'd have been business, they could have figured out some way without her taking any ridiculous bump or whatever to to injure her and fucking she's gone and 
You don't think about her. And then when she comes back to get even, holy shit, that would have been some business. But instead, oh, I'm going to cry, I'm going to go home, I'm have a baby. And gun, all the stuff man. they, these fucking milk sop, soft, gutless fucking so modern so wrestling together, fans you know? like to hear. <clears throat> but somebody asked me what would happen if in the in the territories the old days if a woman got pregnant how would they get out of a story or an angle or whatever does what somebody call himself deaf people well, you know, yes you do they would have been in one oh I was gonna say what happens is Paul Lee then just says all of a sudden that you're a lesbian having an affair with Kimono Wanalea and everyone forgets <laughs> you're pregnant well no I that, that, that still wasn't in the old days in the territories nice. I don't know I forgot about that thing, actually. Also, Eula McKillicuddy um, announces she's pregnant, and then she announces, it's not Raven, so I've been with this, this whole time. So, it's so Tommy obvious. Dreamers, the guy who's been pile-driving me for months, and then all of a sudden, she's not pregnant. She's a lesbian, but okay. Tommy's still with her, because even though she obviously duped him with What's this fake pregnancy, he's oh, just we got wrong blown with away. her looks. Guess that's not ready to be asked. You know what? Though. I don't think fucking Shitstain and Ferraro were the only ones watching... Way too much Jerry That's Springer the back then. Aim at good ideas and then no way to get out of them. Uh, <laughs> it just kept uh, going for, like the guy digging the hole and just keeps digging and he's got further to go and he's like, where the fuck? These episodes go. I feel like anyway, in the territory days, it wouldn't more. have happened because uh, the women wrestlers time, were never in programs so, or angles. Sometimes they were in angle matches okay, in a, somebody course. else's program. They were brought in but for dates, but Jenna, they came in. To spend a week or two weeks in the territory, work the towns around as an attraction on the card. They were never, women wrestlers were never used in ongoing angles. No territory had a women's division. It would have, the thought would have been laughed out of goddamn every building that you presented it in that they would go to that expense because nobody wanted to see women's wrestling. And uh, uh, since the days of Mildred Burke, Mildred Burke was a, not only one of the highest paid professional athletes in the United States in the, what, 30s, 40s, and early 50s. Um, she got tremendous publicity, and she had the body, and she was legitimate. That's how she started in the carnivals, wrestling guys. And that's why they created an industry mostly around her with people that were trained to work with her and her husband, oh, that story's around. been well yeah. documented, yeah, okay. yeah, uh, running the women's wrestling yeah. industry yeah. because it was an attraction. <laughs> That's because you couldn't, there were almost no women professional athletes to begin with in sports, yeah. period. Plus, you couldn't go anywhere if you were a guy so, and see what have I been doing all over women now, in bathing wrestling, suits uh, wrestling each other, except wrestling at the wrestling, videos, wrestling matches, so in which case, you know, they commanded high day, ticket prices, because so Mildred Burke's challengers, a lot of them were quite good looking, but um, they also, they, it, they were as know, legitimate as women's wrestling was ever going to get I, for the I next 50 years because, in those uh, days. So they could be featured, especially down south, as the main event. Uh, because, let's face I mean, it, guys were still going easy, to see scantily clad you know, women people, wrestle when you couldn't buy that kind of shit on the newsstand and there was no these. fucking magazines covering that type of thing. Um, but it was a bigger deal. And, I guess and then, as the 50s like, went on and TV and strippers and burlesque shows and blah, 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 it became less about going right, to see the scantily clad women and more about moolah's yeah, business Johnny, where she trained women to keep the fucking business going because like, none of the male promoters were attempting to break any women into the wrestling business they didn't give oh. a fuck they weren't going to use them regular they didn't care <clears throat> so moolah trained women and kept the women's Look wrestling business going and the girls were booked as attractions <laughs> on the car never in an important position because they weren't going to really sell any tickets every once in a while it was the same kind of thing as hey the midgets are coming to town or the bears coming because it's Man, christmas I'm week like and the kids will be there or whatever so, I actually downloaded Dragon Ball a few times a year. Switch, guys. The girls um, would get booked for a girl single match, tag match, I whatever. Freaking fell over Dragon and Ball again. A booker in some uh, territory needed a girl age, to are, humiliate a manager. Like like the, fans, the partner on the other side is going to be a woman that's going to beat up the manager or some something. And they'd call Mula <laughs> or one of the few yeah. independent girls in the country. That's the. Ongoing I, I women in the territories from the dawn of the wrestling business um, 
were always the significant other of the star that they were with. Going back to Gorgeous George and his valet was his wife. Bobby Shane's valet, Miss Sherry, was his uh, wife in the right late now. 60s, early 70s. So much DLC um, even if uh, Ma Bass yeah, wasn't really related yeah, to Ron and Don Bass, that was Mae West and an right old-timer right from the uh, Mildred Burke days. Me, but, just, uh, but she I was past her prime at that point. But all the young, attractive women you know, it's just by myself, were, that no, were no, regulars no. in the territory it's were used game. in the corner as valets to the star that they were actually associated with and contemporary personally. Like Dragon Balls and and I guarantee goddamn to you that there was no way on fucking earth that if a guy got a spot, uh, do I think a good spot should, on the card, and his valet was series? his wife, that she was going to get pregnant and throw them out of um, fucking work. Honestly, yeah. I pretty not? much guarantee. Can you recall an instance of that ever happening that you ever heard about? I'm, I kind of got sick here with John. Here, Obviously, women's people. wrestling today is much different than... It but but I'm, I'm talking about women in wrestling and the women that would have and, been regulars well, in territories, I'm, the valet, with the valets in the 80s. My God, if... If Sunshine could manage not to get pregnant, she's been on more street corners than the Dallas Times Herald. See, so, like, he's just like, woo! Look! Oh, that burned him up when I said that on TV. Johnny said so many um, guys on that. No, none of the because they were there What's specifically because that was a, a chance at a run, a, a top spot to make some well, fucking money. They weren't going to fuck it up by getting pregnant. Either they had kids at home already, they didn't need any more, or they would wait to have kids till the run was over with. It's not like it was going to last forever. Well, two things come to mind. One, oh, I know you're not a big shit. Japanese women wrestling fan, but didn't that happen to Akira Kudo? She quicker. married Kintsuke Sasaki <laughs> and got pregnant. I, mean, I could be remembering uh, yeah, things wrong. I thought she was still active when she got pregnant. Ball, but the other one is, when it comes to valets... Wasn't that Whoa, well, that would be an awesome universe. That Elizabeth right left the road was that uh, Randy speaking was of which, to have folks, kids. I have uh, heard that said. I remember watching said. Dragon Ball Super. I've heard that said. We I were talking about the, the uh, all the different life count but, on all the different uh, universes. Uh, 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 yeah, well, that's the thing is, and I'm you like know, myself, you take shit, off what universe first, is this doesn't, you're not right in the middle, and Elizabeth and wasn't making a million dollars a year, one of the two neither that was had the most Akira in it. Hokuto. So, you know, or whatever. I would love to actually see that. God damn it, this is just... Colonel Trigger uh, uh, is actually Turner, I'm sure in one of those other... Like, oh, it's so wonderful. If, you know, if, that way, if it was universes. reversed, if it was guys... Uh, there's a locker room of 20 so, fucking guys, yeah. and this one guy, awesome, and right? a locker room of 20 guys, and Stone Cold What's Steve Austin think, walks man? in, and he's the top guy, and he's making more money and drawing more money than any wrestler in the history what of if fucking Trigger? wrestlers, Think about it. What if Crow and he Trigger? announces, hey guys, I'm going to go out tonight and break my leg off. And first. Dragon Ball could actually be in the and same like, well, you dumb series, fuck. you know, that would be freaking fuck? awesome. All this work you've done to well, get that, to that, that spot, that and you that just decide you're going to do the one on thing Earth. that completely prevents you from doing this anymore at this level, right now in the middle of this run, this making this much money. And the guys would all fucking throw shit at him and hold him down and try not to let him do it. The girls, I'm sure, were all so happy. Oh, we can't wait to have a party or whatever. Yeah, fuck. I mean, come yeah. on. If there was, um... You know what? Super there, there are Saiyans that inside the, uh, just, the upper universe. Just Why can't there be the, Saiyans? I ripped it in, to rip um, the thought of a million dollar a year talent universe. purposely taking themselves uh, out saying, of the fucking yeah. game. Well, beyond that, you know, I know people Tyler, are Black, Colby, saying, whatever you want to call Pro him. Trigger is his own him. thing. It's not canon to no, Dragon Ball. No, he just lost so a goddamn million like dollars coming been, in the household over the next fucking year. Come on, they're going to have a baby. It's a beautiful thing. I'm wondering what he thought when he heard about it. I'm mean, like, oh shit! What the fuck? And then I, I guess they'll be a talk that Bulma and Lucas suspect? sound alike. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a similar character. Hey, I swear people. to God, we saw some friends of ours here. We were at the comic convention here in Louisville a couple years ago, and these friends that we knew from they used to come to OVW. Me and Stacy uh, were at the booth, and they come up. And the guy says, uh, I won't mention any names, but his girlfriend, oh, so-and-so's pregnant. And my first thing was, oh, man, what are you going to do? <laughs> and then he's kind of looks, and he's like, I said, oh, is it good? Is that, and Stacy's like, no, they want it. I said, oh, oh, it's good. Right? Hey, every time that that, that word has been bandied in my direction throughout my lifetime, the few times that it has, and thankfully... Uh, incorrectly in each instance. <laughs> oh, I have uh, 
Boy, you talk about somebody's asshole. Seriously. You could have shoved a lump of coal up my ass and come out with a 10 carat diamond. <laughs> yeah. Your, your response to we're pregnant is, oh no, what are you going to do? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> going to be a Fuck, that's some big time shit right there, man. That's new. I need no Guardian Force handle. Well, congratulations, Becky and Seth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tyler, Colby, whatever you're calling yourself. Good, you're gonna, about 15 years when that kid's cost you a fortune, you're going to miss that million dollars, kids. What do you think they're going to do? Oh, I mean, wait a, a minute. I he's know a, this what, one. I've got to say on the road, there is no on the road anymore. But he's still active. And I got a power ring. If Yay. she's about to have a baby... I'm going to guess she's going to be out of the ring for a considerable period of time. Do you think eventually they like get a get an RV and travel with the baby, get a nanny? What do you think they do? I mean, Boy, that's a pain in the ass. It's just, why do you think I didn't get a puppy until I slowed down my travel on the road? Uh, so with, with a, a baby is a giant pain in the ass from what I've seen. Oh. You you well, can't know why so here's one there. thing you can't just call pet That's suites and book for. a fucking atrium room for a baby. And as long as the baby gets walked three or four times a day and, and a couple of playtime right, sessions we're, we're, and regular we're, we're, food we're and her blankie and her bed and, and her favorite little toy, she's fine uh, for a weekend. AD, but they require a little bit more fucking attention. So yeah, that I, I, I don't know how she's going to come back in the next little while. And then, like I said, then they got to become the traveling. And then, that's not the image of a fucking rock star. Like, it's Seth Rollins, I don't know what this Monday Night Messiah horse shit is, but he he's like John Morrison. He looks like a fucking rock star. He ought to be being presented as a goddamn pussy magnet with some personality, being allowed to go out there and shit talk some people Hello. instead of whatever that monotone crap is that they're giving him. And... The last thing I would want anybody in the public to know there, if I was Seth Rollins lava, is that I'm with goals. Becky Lynch or with what anybody lava else. Goals? Oh, fuck. And, and we'll talk about the Undertaker documentary here in a minute. The one fucking guy, and this is why they're doing documentaries on him, the one fucking guy that has waited until he's decided to ride off in the sunset to open the curtain and peel back the mystique. I'd have Seth Rollins, at least in publicity, Fucking every goddamn Hollywood starlet in sight. Fucking uh, being a goddamn rock star. Okay, going out kicking people's you, ass. Right? Fucking my bragging about it. Me. Look at that fucking guy. And it's it's in Monday Night that. Messiah. Uh, They've got him out there fucking doing this... high school play lines. Anyway. Let's just happen. hope that the baby gets its promo abilities yes, from her side. It tastes like chicken. And you, old man, it, you, know, you he ain't getting any more. And actually yeah. gave him something to say. I bet you he could do better than what he has done. Anyway. You asked for food, you, you didn't take it. Well, hopefully I took it. If the pregnancy causes any kind of joint pain or discomfort, yeah, so if I'm not on, <laughs> at least we, you know, uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to send as a baby present to tomorrow. replace that it's million dollars because of my that Seth Rollins' income just took the hit uh, on over the next 12 months in his household. And we're going to send him our code to get 20% off the Omax Cryo Freeze. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, does that mean uh, I won't be on tomorrow? I'm gonna tell you. Uh, it means I might be on. Otherwise, Nat, great promo and a perfect match with the job guy. I wonder if anybody, now that they've actually seen somebody do it right, can figure out how to copy that and do it from here. What do you think? No. I don't think so. <laughs> it just means tomorrow so. I'm probably there's, there's not a lot of I don't make it back in time. No. This is how it's probably gonna go. We're gonna it go just get, doesn't seem like there are a lot of people there. Grab lunch, who possibly come back on this have a thought and, run errands, right? and hone know? in on it and make it um, a my good grandma thought. and I go to the dentist execute it because um, in a one, positive fashion. It's just more, it's just too much of hey let's do this let's do this and then we're gonna do this. I just MJ stands out. I mean, it's a good I, thing, I MJF stands out because he is so much better that. than Even just about everyone on that roster. Promo-wise, um, and so a little bit I've seen of him in the ring, he shows more promise than anyone. Year and a half, though, I've been well, I mean, let's father, let's so see. Uh, much doing in it. this show so far, I'm going back and what have we seen so far? Um, yeah, I'm trying to look. Uh, so far, Jungle Boy, really, if, if I was going to... 
say, okay, uh, somebody's going to say Cornette, evaluate who's actually guy. ready to be on television. I know who he is. Uh, Lance Archer, Jungle He's Boy. He's going to get his ass whooped, too. Luchasaurus just uh, to me. He, every time I hear him talk or every time I see those awkward and things, he's still standing there. That's the bottom line. Because Rob Meyer says um, so. <laughs> You should hear what they say in the back. And that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> well, maybe then that's, there's a problem with that. Um, MJF and Chris Daniels coming up, and of course Chris Jericho. Uh, half these guys wouldn't be ready for OVW tele wrestling television, Did wrestling I do school this? television. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway. Did I do speaking that? of Pineapple Pete. Oh yeah, yeah. I, did, I wrote I did, the I did, first I did, line. I wrote I did, more I silliness that the top heel is involved in. This would be great for a manager. It would be great for a Buddy Landell type rich. in mid card, mid south. But the the fucking top I'm your heel. Lord, Pierre, the king has um, been and so Pineapple Pete ain't even Pineapple Pete. Pete but now they've created a Pineapple Pete gimmick, Pineapple Pineapple and they give him the goofy music and whatever the fuck. And he then he gets in the ring in those tights. It's what do they call it? Skinny fat? He has a rotten body where parts of him are skinny and parts of him are fat at the same time. He's supposed to be a pro wrestler for 15 years. He's been an outlaw guy. Who has he actually wrestled for I'm your lawyer, for 15 P. years? Yeah. Why have I, I never heard of this life. individual? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. All right. Anyway, he flurried Jericho, and Jericho hit the Judas 1-2-3. In that case, I was quick. Yeah, it was quick, to... and boom, thanks for coming. Um, but not it not. just... The guy just, uh, it's not just not more funniness and silliness and lack of seriousness that your main event guy's involved in. And I'm, tr I'm trying to see, as a heel, I'm trying to see a heel in the 90s attitude era, a top heel doing this. I'm trying to see Triple H or somebody in DX doing this. It is, still seems too hokey. I definitely don't see a top baby face like Austin or Rock says, doing it. <clears throat> and anyway, and then Jericho does the promo, and he buried the elite for not showing up anymore, and made the challenge for the stadium stampede <sighs> match. Is this something we're gonna have to watch? This is gonna be on the pay per view, I believe. See, and I'm, so, I'm assuming it's gonna happen in, happen in the stadium that's attached to Daly's place, the one that's owned by the cons. Okay, but here's the point I was making on last week's television. They fought for 15 minutes before they got to the stadium, and they did almost nothing in the stadium no, except run over the guy and fucking pin him on the field. Too bad I don't think this yeah, actually, the entrance to the field. They didn't even go all the way in the stadium. If they were trying to do an angle for a match where it could take place it. anywhere in the stadium... Then they just wasted the ten minutes of say. goddamn well, shit, man. What am I supposed to do? The, do that they spent getting there through all the concourses and the refreshment stands and the oh, ice machines the <laughs> and the scissors lifts and everything. And they gave the people a wilder brawl. Well, I won't say that because they'll come well, up with some bullshit. I think but that's about where we're gonna they did that. They gave them 15 minutes of fighting oh, to the stadium man. to sell them having man, a match at the pay-per-view where they're already fighting in the stadium. Something tells me there's going to be something uh, going on. They've already given them half the fucking here, attraction so. of the thing. <laughs> if it had been two minutes and out... Like the Tupelo concession stand brawl, is, or the fucking Louisville we'll Gardens eight-man fiasco, or whatever we've illustrated, we you tease them with something, it's chaos for a couple minutes, people have never seen anything like it, and then you figure out a way to sell the thought that they're going to see much more of it. Well, what more can they see in this fucking, you know, camera. stadium stampede match? Anyway. I'm in charge of your... Physical the drone education. flies in with the, the baby shirt. I'm in charge of Jericho, the She's top heel, talks to it like a person. Year. He is starting to come I'm down to their education. outlaw level rather than bringing them up to his yeah, professional level yeah, in the six months of this program. He talks to it like a person. It accepts their challenge. He then gives him another chance to join the inner circle, the drone, but then says, no, 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 I'm too late. Oh, right. And then he hits the drone with Floyd the baseball bat. Those are all and he beats the, the drone into pieces. And they yeah. laugh as Mad Hardy comes so, out and is heartbroken and clutching his pieces of his drone and clutching his chest oh, and his pearls man. and his nuts and everything else he can clutch. Let's get back to um, the other side of the... <laughs> this is how the heels get heat. And we'll call it an episode, guys. In 2020, breaking a drone, and the baby face is legitimately broken up about it. 
You know what? One of the interns slapped the taste out of Don Green's 17-year-old daughter's mouth on live TV, and they got death threats and had people waiting for him at the outskirts of town. The Freebirds blinded JYD so he couldn't see his firstborn baby. And they were pulling guns on in the arena. Greg Valentine broke Wahoo McDaniel's leg and had to get police escorts out of every town in the Carolinas. And the inner circle takes a baseball bat to Matt Hardy's drone. You know, for all Fire. the good you could say Fire. about Chris Jericho, here, here's something. Fire. Fire. Don't scare me like he that. He is a guy who needs someone who is serious, who has a who has a concept of the big picture to say no. Because he has some good ideas. But I think he has shown throughout his career and in interviews he's done about things that haven't right, happened. Guys, we're going to end the episode here. every good idea, here. he has a really, really bad idea. Um, hope you guys enjoyed and this uh, right. first episode he's back. He's to the I level we're going to name it the, the title. Stupidity. We're back! And so, I said it that's before what we're going to do. I want an alternative to the WWE right, style. I don't want this, their version this, of this. WWE wrestling. I don't want a watered down version of WWE wrestling. I also don't want right. a bunch so of guys who have the answer. Have this is the kind of thing we wish we could do in the WWE, but anything? Vince is standing in our way. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> I um, want an alternative to that you guys enjoy style it, completely. Hit a like. I want something that treats me like a if you can. I want something that's serious. Do what you I want guys who can do. cut promos to make me and believe. Thank you for I want watching. something that I hope you enjoyed the seems video, more sports-like in that sense. See you guys you watch next baseball or basketball or football, they don't treat you like you're an idiot.